what's up guys street mate here and welcome to today's video this happens to be my first video so if you could please be kind and drop me a like uh comment down below subscribe to the channel we're very much going to start progressing and hopefully we can actually be good at all this editing stuff um but please bear with me However, in today's video, we will be going through my Chelsea Evo slash past and present team. It's a team I love very, very much being a Chelsea fan myself. Um, and also with FIFA, I didn't really want to go with the meta um, and try and get the good cards because sometimes I feel like they just recycle the same cards over and over again. However, doing this Chelsea team has very much kept me interested in the game. So let's get into the video. This is the starting 11 I've been rocking with. Now, I can tell already you are impressed with this team. And I think the main man you guys have pinpointed out already is the Levi Colwell. I mean, look at him. 94 overall. Now, you look at the rest of the team, and I believe they all complement each other quite well. You, you're looking at a team that is a good mix of current you know past players and just absolute legends of the game you know Ashley Cole who's probably considered one of the best left backs in the in the game um Petr Cech's also good Rude, Rude Hullet as well it's it's an absolute crazy team so the first player I'd like to show you is Petr Cech now what a legend he was for Chelsea um I think he's got the most Premier League clean sheets as well he, he's honestly phenomenal um, I've got 271 games in with him if I'm honest with you um, I don't have his team of the year because everything costs money and <laughs> I can't afford anything um, but to be fair this, this check does alright but I think he's like any other goalkeeper where you know they make incredible saves but the ones you want them to save it just goes through the hand and they they just can't handle it so i originally brought him for 150k he's played 271 games you know as i said solid solid cards not much to talk about really with the goalkeepers so let's move on to the next one the next player to talk about is ashley cole now i've only just recently got him actually from doing his spc um so i haven't really played with him that much However, the games I have played with him, he has been very, very solid. You know, he, he's got good pace on him with the 90 pace. Uh, passing's okay, dribbling's okay, defending's good, and then physical's good. So I'm very happy, very, very happy with this card. It it replaces my Ben Chilwell, who was not good at all. Um, so I, when I saw this card, I had to do his SBC. And then even his stats here, that they're, they're really good. A nice, nice split in terms of acceleration and sprint speed. You get dribbling. They're all start off with, like the dribbling is low 80s with the 82, but then it just progressively gets better. At passing's good. It's just an all round solid card. Um, I've got an anchor on him just to increase the pace just a little bit, and then I've done. Done that as well to increase the strength he's got good aggression so i'm very happy with with this card um he has Travella as well so you know he hasn't scored any yet but the idea for me is to uh absolutely ping one in with his <laughs> with his left foot so yeah very good card he's got whip pass he's got all sorts of stuff only played 10 games but we're going to be going into foot champs with him anyway so i'm very much looking forward to playing him and we shall see how he does now this is probably one of my favorite cards on the game levi colwell we got him at 94 overall which i may, i reckon that makes him team of the year worthy um he cost me 10k because i had to snipe him which was absolute pain in the ass but we got there in the end um, only played 43 games with him but yeah I for what he's done so far he's he's absolutely bossed it you know he, he's been keeping up with the likes of Mbappe which 
I don't know how how he's done that, but we take it. Um, I'll just go into his stats and show you. He doesn't have the best split, but you know, it starts off slow with the acceleration of 80, but then he goes to a 92 sprint speed, which is crazy. His agility and balance isn't great, but for a centre-back, compared to my Thiago Silva, who's my other centre-back, it's like way better. He's got good short passing at 97, good long passing at 86. His dribbling, composure, ball control, reactions, they're all high, mid to high 80s. And then you come to the defending and physical stats, and wow. 99 standing tackle, 97 slide tackle, 92 defensive awareness, 90 interceptions. Then you go to his physical, he's got 94 jumping, 99 strength, 92 aggression. It's it's insane, it really is. He's got two play style pluses as well, in jockey and dead ball, which I don't use obviously the dead ball, but... He's got other play styles as well, which are amazing. You know, he's just a very, very good card. And I would put him up there with the likes of Team of the Year, Virgil van Dijk. That is how highly I rate this card. Next up, we got the legend himself, Thiago Silva. Now, in real life, this guy is my favorite player because at 38 years old or whatever he is now, 39 he absolutely bosses the game he's just so dominant his presence is phenomenal but th this card I, I is it centurions yeah i i got him near the start i believe maybe the second promo in potentially and he's been in my side since then he's got 369 games which isn't the highest i don't believe um but he's put in a fair amount of work for me going on to his stats again the pace is not a great split that that 72 acceleration sometimes does come into factor but with his defensive positioning he he's usually in the right place at the right time you know he's, he does have 86 sprint speed and then you know you go on to the agility and balance and as i said compared to the cold wow it's just completely different He's got 92 reactions, 90 composure, 86 short pass, 87 long pass. And then the defensive stats are just crazy. You know, again, 88 in interceptions, 93 defensive awareness, 90 standing tackle, 87 slide tackle. Even the physical, once again, pretty solid. Um, so, yeah, one of my favorite cards in the game plan on using him for as long as I can not unless they bring out an up uh, like an upgraded version but we will see um Thiago Silva is also the captain of my club as you can imagine because he is the main guy now this Reese James has been with me since the start of the game you know he has 403 appearances for me games played whatever you want to call it he has 88 assists and he has very solid stats across the board um I know he has a special card and I did originally buy his special card but it just got to the point where I was like oh the, like I absolutely love this card um and at the time I think that card was like 500k the special card so I I sold him thinking oh eventually it come down in price he has not weirdly he's not come down in price so I've grown to love this card more and more and more and now I can't part ways with him so not unless he gets an absolutely crazy card he will be in there for a very very long time in terms of stats very solid card again as you can see a lot of greens across the board so he's got good solid pace for a right back probably not the quickest but you know that's why we whacked a shadow on him just to build that up you know, it's 85 shot power, he's got 84 vision, 90 crossing. You can just go across the board. Very, very solid card. Very, very good. Absolutely love playing with him. Got jockey, uh, whip pass and stuff like that. He's he's a solid, solid card. And considering he's, he was just a normal gold card, he is very, very good for me. And I can't let him go because he's the absolute best this card right here probably had 
the best SPC that EA gave out because he's still in my team and look at those stats he is part of the Hullet gang next to Rude Hullet so honestly this this card is so underrated being six foot three four star four star all of his stats above 80 he's he's tall strong you name it he can carry the ball he's got mostly lengthy i mean look at that split in terms of goals and assists he does everything for me uh, very very solid card play in a bunch of different positions and center mid right wing back cdm again phenomenal and then you come to these look at it all man it's just amazing you know acceleration not so great but sprint speed is solid so i've whacked a hunter on him just to improve those goal scoring stats because he can do the rest of it with his eyes closed you know he's got phenomenal attacking position you know his finishing was quite weak but with the hunter on him it takes it to an 88 phenomenal shot power and then i've just tried boosting the the volleys and stuff like that but as you can see the rest of it short pass 95 long pass 93 ball control 91 dribbling 94 for a centre mid, he, he just has everything you can imagine. Defensive stats, solid, physical. He's honestly one of the best cards I've ever played with. I, I can't believe it. He's got four out of the, the five passing stats. Phenomenal ball control. Uh, he's got press proven. And Traveller as well, which is massive. He He's just a very, very good card. Very good card. So, yeah another player who will be in my team for a very very long time and i don't know if there'll be anyone to replace him to be honest this card right here is probably one of the most versatile cards in the game he can play in a bunch of different positions which i have done mainly as a center back for a while because i couldn't figure out who i wanted in that back four um and this card can play center back so in terms of stats he's played 137 games but not really contributed to much but that is because he has been predominantly my center back until i got levi colwell which again is phenomenal you know he rude hullet everything's above 80 just like loftus cheek who is the mini rude hullet and you go into his positions as you can see center mid center back cdm center forward crazy absolutely crazy and you go into his stats everything is green there is not one that is under 80 which is absolute madness a solid solid card who just gets about the pitch so well and just tackles everything can shoot you name it he can do it all very very good card uh in terms of what i put on him i have put an anchor but that's because he was my center back and his physical stats are probably the worst of what he got um oh and i actually do have stuff under 80 sorry but yeah anchor is what i put on him just to boost those physical stats and a bit of pace but in terms of everything else he is phenomenal and then yeah you've got so much with him look at all those play styles again very solid play styles very solid card the two Hullet Gang centre mids do very well for me. Um, so, yeah, another strong centre mid partnership for me. This Raheem Sterling is a very, very good card. Um, it's quite funny because originally I was doing his SPCs for the Fire and Ice promo. Um, I started the Fire one because that's the one I wanted. And before I even finished it, there was an option to evo this sterling card and i was like yeah stop that this is the card i'm gonna evo i'm not doing the fire and ice anymore and then just look at this 89 overall four star four star two stats in the 90s shooting in the high 80s good passing left wing right wing left mid striker phenomenal pace phenomenal attacking position 299 agility and balance dribbling 93 just just look at it it is a, a stunning card an absolutely stunning card the only thing he lacks obviously is physical but to be fair he absolutely just 
flies past everyone. He's just so rapid, so quick. Um, he has as a playstyle plus uh, Travella plus as well. So that's why I've got him on the right wing. So when I do cut inside, I can just smack it with the Travella. Um, and then yeah, good whip pass as well. Good for a winger. Quick step, you name it. He's he's just got it, got it all, just got it all. So yeah, solid card. Two hundred and eight games, but phenomenal goal ratio and assist ratio. Now I think I must admit when I was doing his Evo, I might have done some squad battles with that, but still. Very much love this card. Um, and he, yeah, he's just really, really good. Now this card, Mudrick, I wasn't actually going to do this SBC to begin with because I didn't see us beating Tottenham at all. Um, I think it was his SBC and Kulievsky potentially. Um, so I wasn't actually going to do the Mudrick SBC because um, I didn't think we were going to win and he wasn't going to get the upgrade. But... I thought, you know what, why not? It's just a special card for the Chelsea team. Got him, and then we actually beat them, even though we got very lucky. I think they went down to like nine men. We couldn't score, and eventually we did and, and won the game. But yeah, this card is very, very good again. Um, similar to Sterling, with the, the pace and the dribbling, not so much on the, the shooting front. But again, a solid card. Left wing left mid four star four star uh in terms of match played he's he's very much my assist guy um goals are good as well so with the the strikers i got and these guys pace like it is very much a pacey attack that i have you know the 97 acceleration 94 sprint speed good attack and position good shot power good long shots dribbling ball control agility Balance isn't the great, greatest, but that doesn't matter. And then I've, I've shoved a sniper on him just to increase that strength a little bit because I felt he was getting shoved off the ball a lot, which, you know, it's quite weird considering Sterling doesn't feel like that, but who knows? It's, it's EA, isn't it? You never know. Um, So, yeah, that is my Mudrick card, and he is still in the team since the start of the Premier League season, I believe, when we faced Tottenham. So... We keep going. The left stick dribbling for this guy, Gifranco Zola, is so, so good. You know, I, I was umming and iron whether to get him because I don't usually play with two strikers in my formation. Um, but I figured, you know what? Why not give him a go? Gave him a go. Absolutely loved him. And then there was an evolution available for him. So I was like, whack him in there. So that is why he's an 89 overall. Um you know, he's played 74 games for me, scored 95 and assisted 50. Again, I believe I played some squad battles with him, um, probably just to get his Evo pretty quick. But in terms of how he is when playing in game, he's just he's just deadly in front of goal. Um, you know, and look at those stats. <laughs> That's, it's insane stats. He got 90 acceleration with 86 sprint speed, 91 attacking position, 94 finishing, 92 shot power, 91 long shots, 85 volleys, 90 penalties, 90 curve. Look at all those 90 stats. Like, he's an 89 overall, but those stats are a completely different story. The only reason I think he is an 89 overall is because the defending is low and the physical is low. But... If they were all, what, maybe about 70, this card would be like 92, 93 overall. He is a, a very, very good card. And then his play styles as well. Look at that. So he has Finesse Shot Plus and Traveller, which amazing. Love that. And then he's got Tick Attacker. He's got all sorts of ball control stuff. He's just a, a, an amazing card. Now... Obviously, with the strikers, you'd think, yeah, you need Drogba, you need Drogba. But unfortunately, with players like that, if they're past like a certain height, they usually are just so tanky. They just like, when they're turning, it's like a truck and it just not, just doesn't go well at all. So I'm so glad I, I invested in this solar. It cost me 87k 
and plus like 200k on top which probably wasn't worth it but for me at the moment he's doing a really good job and banging in some seriously Nicholas Jackson now <laughs> this card as a joke I started Evo in him just because in real life he can't score a goal to save his life but in the game he is probably one of the most deadly finishers I've ever seen in my life you know that's the only thing he can do he can when he's in front of goal you give him a shot his school passing is disgustingly bad he cannot pass the ball past five yards you know dribbling's okay but skill moves are terrible weak foot's okay but yeah you go into his stats and as you can see <laughs> all he can do is just dribble uh, it, I'm sorry all he can do is just shoot like he can't pass it's probably some of the worst passing stats I've seen in my life can't defend he just it, it's so funny because I use him so much and he scores so many good goals for me and vital goals as well and then even his play styles are not good at all really not good I don't even use power shot which I probably should but yeah, that is my Nicholas Jackson, who started off as a joke, but actually turned out to be one of the deadliest strikers I've ever played with. So, we love you, Nicholas. And just a quick rundown of my bench. We got Player of the Month, Solanke, which I haven't really used, to be honest. I've not long got him. Yeah, one game, so we won't really go into him. And Kunku, who is a guy who I'm very much switching my formation a lot, who comes in and plays a lot of games for me. 363 very very solid card does a lot for me especially on the when he comes off from the bench when everybody's tired he's got finesse traveller you name it he's got it all evo as well mudrick you know is there which we've already done but every now and then i swap out for pulisic uh cole palmer who is the 86 overall with uh Travella plus Look at those stats as well. A deadly, deadly card who we love. We've got Enzo Fernandez, Lavia, Ben Chilwell, Malang Sar, Oscar Balak, Kufbert, and James. So again, a very solid bench. Always chopping and changing when I when I can. Um, but that is my Chelsea Evo slash past and present team. You know, this is my first video I've ever created, so it's probably going to be absolutely dreadful and awful. So please be kind to me. However, if you did like the video, if you could give it a like, I would appreciate it. You can subscribe, comment down below, and just let me know what you think of my Chelsea team. Um, I love playing with it. I, I don't go for the meta teams or anything like that, just because if I did that, I'd get bored of the game very, very quickly. Um, doing this Chelsea Evo slash past and present team has very much kept me interested in the game. Um, usually I would have quit playing by now, but no, oh, we're, we're still going. We're going quite strong. Um, and yeah, let me know. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I shall see you all next time.